uh, Lynette, you talked about the same thing, and we uh, just uh, warms my heart to hear that uh, program about uh, bringing the veterans into the environment here. Two to three years from now, wh wh what are you expecting to see? You have a lot on the plate, a lot of moving parts there. What are you going to be focusing on two to three years from now? So I think that um, one of the great things that we have at this moment in technology and in cybersecurity is with the new innovations that have come out and even the new flexibilities that the executive order gives us around the FIDO2 authenticators, I think we have an opportunity now more than ever. In two to three years, we get through this zero trust, this initial implementation and continue on that journey, but we really have the opportunity for cyber security to become a business enabler. And by that, I mean, as I look across my clinical environment, um, PIV cards tend to hinder the clinical environment in a way that really makes our clinical staff dislike them in every way. But with the, the FIDO2 authenticator flexibilities that we've been given, there is opportunity here to really change the way that the clinician can interact and authenticate to devices with the new technologies that are out there. And I think we'll start to see that shift. It's going to take us a couple of years to get there, but I think it's super exciting that technology, people, and everything is coming together right now that really allows cybersecurity to finally be that business enabler that we've sort of always really talked about and didn't really have the seamless integrated technology that would allow us to be that. And I think now it's here and I think we have a huge opportunity to grasp that and really, um, really push into and give the end user experience, especially in the federal space, uh, just a, a new experience that is secure and good all at the same time.